10, 44. Another big fish in that box. They've got four caught today. Better today, 11, 23. Right at what you had yesterday, 11, 01 today. You just took over the lead, guys. First lead change we've had. Y'all get you out two apiece. Even with the shortened fishing day, many teams are still managing to weigh in some good fish. Jared and Jake Turnbloom set the bar early with 22.6 pounds. That means that Garrett Warren and John Owens from Sneed State Community College need more than four and a half pounds to reclaim the lead. Were they in ninth place without weighing in? You want to just not weigh in? Oh no, uh, oh God, it was a rough day. All right, let's weigh them and we're going to talk. 9.30 today, y'all just took way over the lead. We're going to get another lead change, so y'all get them out of here. With over nine pounds today, their two-day total climbs to 27.15 pounds. Thanks to a late catch by John, they reclaim first place and hold a more than four pound lead over second. Uh, I made a clutch catch uh, around, I mean, probably about an hour ago. Uh, I flipped up a three pounder. That's what really helped us out today. As the weigh-in progresses, only one other team comes close to threatening Sneed State's first place lead. This is gonna boost you way up in the standings. 11-17 today, that's gonna put you in second place so close. Luke Mason and Justin Lane from the University of North Alabama weigh in 11.17 pounds and slide into that second spot. That's a move that even surprised the anglers themselves. It's very surprising for us. Practice was absolutely terrible. We were like, I guess we're just gonna go fishing for two days of tournament and basically use it as two more days of practice because we didn't fish anything in the tournament that we practiced and we didn't fish anything in the tournament twice. So we just fished new water all day, both days. And here's a look at the overall top 10 following the conclusion of weigh-in. Garrett Warren and John Owens from Sneed State Community College sit in the top spot. Luke Mason and Justin Lane from the University of North Alabama take second. And representing the University of Alabama, Jared Turnblum and Jake Turnblum hold on for third. Half of the teams in the top 10 this week hail from the state of Alabama. We're ecstatic, honestly. We come in second last year in this tournament, we were coming back for revenge. I uh, knew it wasn't going to be an easy one, and today I really didn't think we had it done, but somehow we managed to make it happen and fish our freaking tails off to the last minute.